Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be sharing our dining experience from the 5-star luxury all-inclusive adult-only Royalton Chick Resort by Marriott. And this is our second visit since 2021 and 2024. Also, we have a part 1 video of full resort review. Don't forget to check out and we'll put a link below. We decided to make a separate video since food is an important criteria wherever we travel. If you are a foodie like us, this video will be helpful for you to decide to stay in here or not. Anytime if this video is helpful, please like and subscribe. Um, and we've been seeing some increase and we really appreciate it. Now let's dive in. They have total 9 restaurants and we tried 7 of them. Since we've been here 2021 and 2024, so we were able to achieve most of them. Also, they do have 4 bars in the resort and they are pretty good. Let's start with the buffet. They open every day from 6.30 to 11 a.m. to serve breakfast. For dinner, they are closed Monday to Wednesday but open 6 to 10 p.m. on Thursday to Sunday and focusing on serving different type of cuisine. This schedule can change so please use it as a reference only. We were not disappointed about not opening the dinner every day because most of you will be actually trying their restaurant. We came here around 6.45 a.m. so you won't see a lot of people but usually it's pretty packed. And also this was a weekday, like I think it was Wednesday, so there were not many people too. I personally really like this buffet because food was pretty good too back then and also it's very spacious and the view is very nice. Today, it, that day when we went, it was a little bit cloudy, but it's way brighter. When it's not cloudy, it looks like this is very, very beautiful to eat here. So for your information, their buffet is pretty massive. This is a pretty big clip of like, I was filming every single food. If you're interested, you can watch it. And if this is gonna bore you, just you can skip it. But I actually filmed everything. There are actually people actually cook for you too upon your request. You might not see those clips because it was pretty early morning and not a lot of people were requesting it yet. As you can see, they do have a pretty big selection. They do have a lot of bread and Mexican food and general American breakfast as well. I really personally think this buffet is better than the Secret Divine, but we'll touch this topic more in our next video about the comparison between Secret Divine all-inclusive versus the Royal Tim Chick and how the food and service and everything. Also, I personally like this buffet more. It's more spacious, so you don't like run into people. Some buffet is very tight, like, oh, you have to squeeze in. But that's something I really like about it. And also, the food looks cleaner. I know we just got here, but last time I experienced it, even if there were many people, continuous steps are cleaning it, and the food looks more presentable, appetizing. So that's something I want to call out. We truly enjoy our breakfast. Most of the food was pretty good. Pastry was good as well. Um, it's an all-inclusive hotel, so we're not really expecting, wow, it's gonna that level, but it is pretty decent quality of food. Now let's move on to the Munchies Grill, which is located at the pool bar area. And they just started serving food. It used to be a bar place only without food. Our butler said their grilled food is pretty good and we agree it was pretty tasty and we really enjoyed the food. Moving on to the Italian cuisine. They have a to-go window to serve you pizza or you can also dine in inside the other Italian food. I will show you that in the next chapter. And Hawaiian pizza. pizza. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't like this, but I know. But we like Hawaiian yeah, pizza. I don't mind. We're compatible. Good, Good business, business partner. partner. Cheers. Bye -bye. Mm. The dough is a bit plain. Well, okay. It's just edible. Okay. Yeah. 
the pizza was just okay and would we order again probably not i don't think their italian food here is good anyway but we were just hungry we just checked in and we were waiting for our room we just need to eat something now we're going to italian restaurant maybe we can compare this with hayat yeah. italian food i'm pretty hungry right now yeah me too even we ate pizza we were still hungry so we decided to dine in here You can still order pizza from here and for your information, since this is outdoor kind of, it's pretty hot. They do offer self-serving salad bar. Honestly, the salad bar food is just okay. I don't think it was good. And that bread was super moist. <laughs> so we ordered the pasta and I think it does not look appetizing from the video as well, but it was not good. Especially coming from the Hyatt, their Italian cuisine was so good and this compared to it was not good And even though I don't compare with that restaurant, their pasta was pretty bad We really had a great memory of this cafe when we came here last time because they were serving very good coffee And the ice cream was good as well The bakery item was good too Also, it depends on the day and time, they actually serve different type of bakery. Actually, not so, I'll give you. Um, they do have all the bakery options here, like a dessert bread, but during the day, they actually also serve the sandwiches like this as well. You can actually get your own soft serve ice cream from here. They do have different type of flavor. So this is something fun thing, you can get your own dessert. More breads too. Also, don't forget they do serve alcohol so you can get a drink from here. So a few years ago, I had a really, really great experience here because their food was amazing and presentation was amazing. And I was very excited to go back here. In order for you to get in here, you either need to have a diamond member or you have to actually pay separately. I was a little bit upset this day because um, it's a first come first serve sitting but they did not allow us to sit in the window seat. They didn't tell the reason but later other couple came in and they sat on the window seat and clearly they said this is a first come first serve but it wasn't the case. So even you go early that doesn't mean you're gonna get the sunset view. Cheers. So the drink was not coming up, so they gave me a spoon, so I was scooping and drinking my... Drinking or eating my drink? Why is that a big one and I get small? I'm a bigger man. I'm a big man. Cheers. That's so wrong. <laughs> Smells good. Tastes good too. Mm. Very cute. Very tiny. Yeah. Oh. You like it? Interesting. Spicy. Oh yeah, the mashed potato tastes very good. No, no, like the, um, sorry, the salmon oh, is buttery. No, but also the mashed potato Mashed has butter. Yeah. So both combined mm. is very good. Very, very good. Here's the sea bass. Mm. And here's the risotto. Mm. Cheesy risotto. Mm. Delicioso. I would say their food is pretty good here and this is the one of the benefit as a diamond member you don't have to pay extra I mean you can't pay extra like for diamond but you can dine in here and we highly recommend to try this one also I just want to share my 2021 footage of trying here it was actually more upscale experience that's why I want to show you like once we dine in they actually give you a welcome drink 
and the presentation of food currently it was good too but it was better i would say you'll see it you in the other clip so i remember their dessert was super good especially that creme brulee nom nom and I remember I liked here so much the next day I came back here for the dinner again and their presentation was very very nice and this was my favorite dessert it was super super cute they were not doing this kind of thing anymore but this is something I always want to share I don't know they actually downgrade the restaurant but for me, I felt like that way, but it was still good. So this is a pub um, next to Steakhouse. We did not try it, but I we just took a film for you guys if you're interested. So I, I can't really say if it tastes good or not, but it's a decent place you can drink and watch sports. For the Steakhouse, luckily we did not have to wait. We can just go in and just sat down there were not that many people especially it's a weekday also if you want to sit at the window seat you actually have to purchase a bottle of wine in order to sit there so just for your information we don't really drink wine so we never bought it for the food they do have a pretty wide options you can order we just decide to only focusing on steak because we were not that hungry so we've been eating all inclusive for a few days but one very interesting thing is they kind of serve you with the ranch or I don't know what kind of white sauce it was. It, it's definitely a lot of butter. It was not good so we did not eat with it. But the steak cooks pretty decent. Their side dish is kind of mediocre honestly but you will see the medium rare. Oh, very soft. What is it? Seasoning is on point. Oh, it's just gone. It's gone. It's very soft. I like it. It's pretty good. That's good steak. Yeah. Pretty good ribeye. Way better than the Hyatt one. <laughs> We remember there three years ago their steak was pretty good and it's still good. So I highly recommend you to try here. This time we did not have time to visit this place but as a Diamond member you can actually have a breakfast here. We were a little bit sad we had to leave so we couldn't try here. Um, for dinner we tried in 2021 we will be sharing that footage. I don't know if they still do but they come here and suggest alcohol. Back then, I thought that was a salt and pepper. I, I don't really know at all, so forgive me. But anyway, um, those are, I believe, is extra charge if you do it, but that's something they suggest, recommend if you want to buy it. We had a pretty good memory dining in here. The food was pretty good, and I highly recommend you to try it if you have time to visit. Um, to me, I would recommend here than a steakhouse because you're in Mexico, you may want to try their cuisine. That's my suggestion. Also, this is 2021 footage, so I'm not sure what the updated cuisine looks like, but it was not too bad honestly compared to Hyatt Secret Divine <laughs> Asian restaurant um, this place was better I think in my opinion presentation looks better too but taste wise it looks better and the sushi was slightly better as well um, so I think you have more other restaurants you can try instead of here but this is another option if you really want to try it there is another restaurant called Cloud9 as a diamond member, you cannot get in as well. You actually have to pay extra money. I actually don't know how much, but we didn't even take a look at this because we're coming to all inclusive hotel. We're not really planning to spend extra money. Honestly, if I'm looking for upscale restaurant experience, I would rather go to a non all inclusive resort or any proper dining place than a all inclusive resort for this experience. But Please let us know in the comment if you ever tried it and if it was worth it for you. 
Lastly, let's talk about in-room service. Their service is pretty good and the breakfast was pretty decent. They do have an English menu and American menu. And in 2021, we do have some footages. I'm not sure something they offer a different level of food for the um, presidential suite or not. I don't think so, honestly. But their food was way nicer. Like they did have a wider option of the protein, like a salmon and steak and so on. That's something I'm not sure um, in 2024, they actually downgraded their um, menu compared to 2021. That's something I just want to call out. If you came here a few years ago and you come back, you may not see a same menu. Also, I do have a full in-room dining service menu in my previous video. So feel free to check out the part one video. So as a conclusion, this is how I would prioritize if I go back. Um, level 18 since we assume you have a diamond member then you can go there for free and eat no out-of-pocket number two is Mexican cuisine because you're in Mexico it's good to actually try their um, cuisine that's why number three is the steakhouse we really enjoy their steak so we think it's good four and five honestly we don't really highly recommend it but if you're staying there long and it's good to try it for Cloud9, since it's an out-of-pocket place, I don't really want to go in all-inclusive resort, so I did not even prioritize it. For Buffet, the atmosphere of the buffet is very nice and the food is decent, so I highly recommend you to go there. I know this was a pretty long video and thanks for watching and if you really enjoyed this video or it was helpful for your decision making, please give us a like and subscribe if you want. And we'll see you in our next comparison video. And see ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> Get ready for me. My personal ride. Okay. Go. Whoa. Huh? <laughs>